What up? What up? What up? It is a glorious fucking day. Man, this shit here that is a beeping, it needs to, uh, it's a, it's a glitch, just, just to let y'all know. I'm Monster Grove, OSG, it's press, <laughs> it is pressure sensitive. I am Monster Grove, this is C4CW, casting 495 Celebrities Worldwide, I am the host of this show. I hope everyone is having a fucking fabulous time, wherever you be at in the multiverse, whether it's daytime, nighttime, evening, or somewhere in between, if you are true fans of this podcast, C4CW, casting 495 Celebrities Worldwide, then I, we, 495, most certainly fucking appreciate you. Some of y'all are like, yo, Grove, what's up with the new 495 L4 projects? Well, I had a bunch of beats that I had been working with. You know how I said I was done doing the experimental, like, underground? You know how I said I was done doing the experimental underground, like, like rapping with dirty mics and shit, and how all my shit's all fucking top shelf, like, professional and whatnot? The thing about recording professionally, man, is sometimes, like, see, I'm an engineer as well, so I engineer all my own shit. Yeah. So, and, and I work with, with Sen uh, on other projects. So he engineers as well. So between the two of us, we're not just recording, but we're also engineering, mixing, mastering. And it's laborious when we're in the laboratory. And um, it takes time, man. So even to record, like if I do some solo shit, send us some solo shit. When we go to mix and master, it's not as easy as just being like, all right, we recorded the shit and put it out. No, you got to add compression. You know, you've got to add effects, you have to, you know, sound, re- you have to add, you know, sound reduction, apply sound reduction, you know, you got to make, you got to adjust the levels and make sure that everything sounds fucking crystal clear and that there are no pops, clicks, snaps, you know, pop, snap, crackle, pop, what was that, snap, snap, crackle, pop, that was Rice Krispies, right, ha <laughs> ha, yeah, but I'm just saying, like, you got to make sure that, you know, there, there's no background noise, and it's fucking clean as a whistle. Is it clear as a whistle or clean as a whistle? Anyway, it's got to be fucking squeaky clean. And uh, when you record professionally, I'll be it. I'll be, by the way, it is 50 fucking six degrees. When I was thinking about podcasting a few minutes ago, it was actually 55. And then it just like, oh shit, went up to 56. Now it's back down to 55. So it's fluxing between 55 56 degrees Fahrenheit, and uh, I just upgraded all these systems, so all this shit is fucking state-of-the-art, fucking upgraded, 100%. Is vaping out? Me think so. I mean, vaping seemed like a fad that came and fucking went. I know in some parts of the country and world, there are people who are so totally in. I'm only saying this, well, I'm not only saying this for this reason, but there's this dude in front of me. And he's fucking vaping. And I'm just like, look, man, I'm one of those dudes. I was a social smoker. Please don't smoke. I'm just, (laughs) I mean, you're probably like, come on. Look, Broccoli Landers of 495, he he quit smoking cigarettes. Big Scheme, he quit smoking cigarettes. Um, Let's see, who else in the fucking crew? Sen quit smoking cigarettes. I... One Sir Grove quit smoking cigarettes. You know what? Fuck, I never thought about that. That shit is an ad campaign. Wow. Fuck, I think we've all quit smoking. I mean, listen, dude. Look, I was doing cigars for a while, as y'all know, but I even quit that. I seriously fucking did. I can't even imagine smoking a cigar right now. Seriously. And the other thing is, I it's not an excuse, and it's not better than anyone else who smokes. I mean, smoking is stupid, period. Listen, when you do it, it seems logical. But then after you do it, you're like, that was illogical. Why did I do it? That shit was stupid. Um, I mean, I get it. You know, people do it when they drink because they want that little neurotransmitter kick. You know what I'm saying? To keep them up. It's like hops and shit. Motherfuckers that do speed and meth. Well, cats who don't want to do smeed, speed, <laughs> smeed. Cats who don't want to do that smeed. 
Um, <laughs> Sneed. Motherfuckers who don't want to fuck with that stupid, lame, meth, and speed shit, they, they'd, they'd much prefer some fucking, some uh, deadly tobacco. You know what I'm saying? None of this shit is better, honestly, than the other shit. It's all fucking stupid and illogical. But, you know, humans do it. And I'm just simply saying is that y'all know the phenomenon of when you stop doing it and then you look back on it, you cringe like, oh, my God, how can people fucking, you know what I mean? You can't look down on folks who do it because you know you did it. And so you have to admit that you were stupid. I was stupid. I, one Sir Grove, was stupid for consuming tobacco products. I'm just saying this shit is stupid. But, you know. I did it and it was dumb and it was foolish and it was idiotic and moronic, but it's like when I, when I, when I think about vaping, I mean, I guess humans will continue to smoke indefinitely, I guess, until we're like thousands of years out into the future. Hopefully it's not that long. Hopefully all humans quit smoking within like, (laughs) I don't know, a hundred years seems a little, seems a little conservative, right? Like, yeah, wishful thinking Grove. Sure. 100 years from now. All humans will not be smoke. I mean, dude, as long as we don't nuclear annihilate ourselves and irradiate like packs of tobacco, boxes and storehouses of tobacco, I mean, even in the like most fucked up future, if there were to be such without nuclear like devastation, I'm sure there would be motherfuckers smoking a hundred years from now. I just hope that they're not though. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Like, please don't smoke in the future. I mean, it's illogical now, and it'll be illogical in the future. Um, But I'm guessing in like a thousand years from now, humans will not be as medieval and stupid as we have been. You know what I'm saying? We'll be like, oh my God, tobacco? Jesus criminy. That was dark and medieval. Have you ever been to these websites like, what is it, me? Me Me.com? Like me, M-E.com? I don't know if that's the correct website. But it shows all this nostalgia. It shows all this old stuff, all these old products and such, and TV shows and 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 board games and just like all this old nostalgic stuff. Um, they have like food products and things that don't exist anymore that were like pulled from the shelves, and you just kind of look at the stuff, these TV advertisements of the stuff from like the fifties and sixties, and you just like literally cringe, like, oh my goodness, <laughs> like. What? I mean, dude, there's just just wacky shit that humans should not have been ingesting. And then, like, the little kid in the morning time, he's like, yeah, mom, yeah, dad, this is scrumptious. And you're just like, no, don't eat that. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, man, we, we as humans are kind of, man, we're a little off sometimes just as a collective, um, to say the least. But... Staying on track, staying on track. Yeah, so let's see. Uh, fi- see, it's back up to 56 degrees Fahrenheit. So, man, uh, oh, I did hear in the four-day weather forecast that it is supposed to get cold again, uh, like like really cold. So knowing the pattern in the past decade and a half here on the East Coast, even though this seems lovely now. I mean, look, man, I'm wearing a fucking, I'm, look, I'm wearing a t-shirt today. It's not a t-shirt. It's like a collar top. You know what I mean? But it's like, I don't even have a long sleeve men's, men's shirt. Nah, dude, I, I don't because it's not appropriate, dude. This is like, I should have like some floral patterns and some like khaki, like knee length fucking like khaki shorts and shit and some, and some, uh, Nike G Nike, some Nike Cortez, you know what I'm saying? West coast style shit. With my fucking socks jacked up to my knees. You know what I'm saying? On some cholo type shit. You know what I'm saying? Fucking West Coast type shit out here on the East Coast. But, um, but I don't, man. I have men's slacks. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't wear jeans, dude. I don't fuck with that shit. I wear professional men's, like, attire. You know what I'm saying? Like, professional, like, business casual and business professional. I don't, I don't wear all that loose baggy shit anymore, man. I just, that, I did that shit when I was like in my twenties, dude. I just, I don't fuck with, I don't fucks with it. You know what I'm saying? All these kids looking all sloppy and like lousy bummy, you know, 
Fuck all that nonsense. I'm an adult, dude. Um, yeah. So, let's see. What's going on in the news? Donald Trump is an awesome president. He is doing magnificent things for America and the world. I know some people are like, Grove, dude, dude, what are you talking about Donald Trump? Well, but it's all, you know, that's Trump derangement syndrome, dude. That's your own, that's your own, you know, thing, man, if that's you. That ain't me, dude. That ain't me. America's economy is as, I believe, Rush Limbaugh and Mark Levin have stated, and as I have observed and concur, soaring. Soaring like an American bald eagle. Salute! Shout outs to the U.S. and global economy. So yeah, no recession in fucking sight. The only recession that is in sight is in is in the low brow minds of these people who are butt hurt, ass hurt, bitter, sore losers. Who don't want for people to be happy, gleeful, and joyful, and delighted. No, they want for people to feel sullen and forlorn, and and for there to be this foreboding sense of gloom and doom because because things can't just stay so good. No, not with them. It has to be a recession looming on the. Shut the fuck up! There is no such thing! Thing! These people are cornball, man. They're corn fed like Monsanto fucking cows. Fucking stupid corn feds, corn breads, corny corn balls. There is no fucking recession in sight. I'm one Sir Grove, and I fucking said so.